meeting of the Virginia City Council to order August 14th at 5.32. All rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right, amendments to the agenda. There are a few amendments to the agenda. Hopefully I get them in the right order. Um, let's see. The first amendment to the agenda will be adding a um, G, and all the rest of the uh, letters are going to change. So G will be acceptance of resignation of Alderman Matt Chabot, which changes G to H. <laughs> And changes, I can't read it. G, H, H to I. And then um, we're going to insert a J, uh, which is approval of city manager employment agreement, and move the compensation of city clerk treasurer to K. Hopefully, I have all of the amendments. All right, so we will begin with, we don't have any, well, we do have a visitor. No, we don't have any visitors, because we're not, those are scheduled people, sorry about that. We move to approval of minutes. Uh, this will be for the minutes of July 24th and August 7th. So it's been moved and seconded. Are uh, there changes to the minutes? I have one change on the minutes of August 7th. Second to the last paragraph, uh, 506, et cetera, that uh, City Manager Search Committee member John Emerson and City Clerk Joan DeBarney did invite Joan to remain also, to be allowed to remain in the session. Any other amendments to either of the uh, minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Nobody's opposed. Motion carries. All right, citizens' comments. Any citizens' comment? Yeah, um, I have a couple questions for you, Mr. Mayor. The first one is, I have this The proclamation that your predecessor signed off on fair and impartial police practices. Okay. And do you fully endorse that? Your name isn't on it. You weren't mayor at the time. Do you endorse the terms and conditions stated therein? It's kind of a rhetorical question. I'm sure well, you do, but I need for the record. Well, I, I, quite frankly, I remember the issue, but I don't remember it. <laughs> uh, so I really can't answer that question. Let's see if I can find my copy. And it'll be the only paper I can't find. But in any event, um, the other question that I had I have it here, too. Um, that was the resolution. It's right here. Would you like me to read it? Or well, well was, it, was it, it passed by the council? Yes, it was. It was signed unanimously. It was, it was prompted by a special request by a select group of people who showed up here and asked for this resolution reaffirming the Virginia City Council values of inclusion, respect, and justice. Does that sound big? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Of course. You all unanimously endorsed this. Uh, my previous mayor, Mike Daniels, signature was on the original. And I just, for the record, wanted to understand that now that we have a new group here, that all endorsed it. 
Is that a correct statement on my part? Well, I, I except for me, I wasn't. Yeah, involved. right. Okay, but in concept, you are all I'm yeah. in agreement with the reaffirming the Virginia City Council values of inclusion, respect, and justice. Pretty basic statement. It's common sense. It should be intuitively clear. I'm not sure why this thing was even necessary, except that it was requested by a special group. That aside, that was my first question. I think you said that you all are in agreement that you endorse this. Question number two is a little background. Back a couple of weeks ago, well, actually, it's more like a couple of months ago, an individual who is well known in the political arena was asked to leave a restaurant, denied service, and was asked to leave with their family because, and so stated by the restaurant manager, because of this individual's political affiliation. Okay. Discrimination in its purest form based on their political affiliation. A little further research found that political affiliation is not a protected class under the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Virtually everything else is covered under that. Uh, but political affiliation is not a protected class. There is no standing. This individual had no standing in the courts unless that municipality, there's no federal, no state jurisdiction in this area, unless the municipality, and this is coming up to my question for you folks, unless the municipality has an ordinance that specifically makes illegal discrimination based on political affiliation, it's a pass. There is no standing for the individual. I walk into Matt's restaurant with my Trump hat on. I walk into somebody else's restaurant with my Bernie shirt on. They can deny me service based on my political affiliation. No words need to be spoken because that gets into the First Amendment thing. This is just simply political affiliation. My question to you folks is, will you be willing to initiate that level of protection for all people? You, you stated a willingness to protect certain groups based on this resolution here. What about everyone? Well, I would say that um, we would have to research into this because there's certain legal implications involved, and we would have to know more about those legal implications before r going down that road. Okay, so what I'm hearing is that you, as the mayor, are willing to take this under consideration for action? I'm certainly willing to look into it to see whether this, it, it is even something that we can do on, under the law. Municipalities do have the, the authority to enact that, which is why when I looked into this thing, did a little further research, found that it, this protection doesn't exist on a federal level or a state level. It's on a municipal level. It's within the municipality. So, but, 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 but okay. Well, let's do a little yeah, more research yeah. into that. And, and, and that's remember why I'm that asking. the Supreme Court has over, overturned that logic already with the the Baker case, the baking of cakes, where a municipality said this is discrimination, and the Supreme Court said, nope, no, it isn't we don't agree with your municipality law. So I'm not sure, but we can, okay. we can look into this. But I, I think the that major case that you're talking there's, about, yes. There's another, there's another thing, too, is that Vermont is not an enabling state. In other words, we can only do things that are specifically allowed in law by the state. Oh. We, can't, we can't just do something. It has to be specifically allowed. Of course. So if it's not in Vermont law someplace that something like this is specifically allowed, we can't do it. Right. Well, precedents are set every day. This would be a good time to, since we're looking at fair and impartial, let's take it to the next logical level and cover everybody, protect people, protect business owners as well. 
they need to know what the rules of engagement are, and there, if there is no rule on this, then discrimination can reign supreme based on political affiliation. Okay, you've you've agreed to take it under advisement, yes. and we'll look into a perfect. I, you've answered my question, and I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Okay, <laughs> thank you. All right, um, I guess we move on to business. Item 5A, water, uh, South Water Street Block Party Public Assemblage Permit. So uh, uh, this is not a new item, uh, and I've mentioned to the, to the City Council before uh, that I have the authority to issue uh, public assemblage permits, but I've never felt that uh, I should be taking the liberty to close streets and feel that that, that type of a public assemblage really rises to the level of the city council and when I had Joan research last year because I wasn't sure if whether or not the city council had made some motion saying that that was okay um, ad infinitum and that's not the case and so this is back in front of you again uh, I am not aware of uh, Mark would know better than me but I'm not aware of any problems that have occurred uh, as a result of the closing of this section of uh, South Water Street and so uh, I'm just seeking uh, approval of the city from the City Council for this public assemblage permit for this event Motion has been made and seconded to approve the permit that's for August 26 5 to 7 um, any discussion? Yeah, you do that one. Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. Motion. <laughs> <laughs> Motion carries. Uh, more than one of us may be at the party. Um, okay. Next is uh, item 5B, American Legion Post 14 outside consumption permit. So this is really in Jones. Uh, this is part of her operation, not mine, to be honest with you. That's an application for a one-day outside consumption. Every year they have their Legion picnic and they have outside activities. They rope off the downstairs parking lot, like when you first drive in. And that area they play horseshoes and games and have an outside bar there. It's a one-day event on August 26 from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. We, yeah. This is a year after year thing, yes. right? Yeah. Would people be going from there to South Water Street? <laughs> <laughs> Same day. Just curious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So uh, I need a motion to. Well, maybe a motion to approve the outside Okay, the motion has been moved and Second. seconded. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion or questions? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nobody opposed. Motion carries. All right. Errors, uh, item 5C, errors and omissions, uh, 2018 grand list. So to, uh, to date, uh, we have run into two uh, accounts, if you will, that uh, the listers are seeking uh, approval from the city council to uh, correct the grand list. The first one deals with a mobile home. Uh, I made a copy of the mobile home bill of sale, and as you can see, it indicates uh, that this mobile home left the city on November 17, 2017, and the account didn't get deleted from the grand list, and so it just traveled along, and, 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 it, is a, and it is on my punch list to uh, to look at removals and new mobile homes and it's very possible that Melissa told me but I don't listen to everything that she says to me so anyway we ended up sending a sending a well actually she actually so anyway uh, so this mobile home actually did leave and uh, Melissa has double checked uh, to make sure that we didn't miss a new one that came in. And this, so this lot is vacant. So we ended up sending a tax bill 
to the Addison Chem County Community Trust for a mobile home uh, that does not exist. And so we would look for the city council to approve deleting that entry from the grand list. Uh, the second matter uh, deals with uh, Comcast. And although the city of Virgins, the city of Virgins did away with personal uh, property tax, uh, inventory and equipment, 20 years ago or so, uh, personal property held by certain utilities, I won't get into all the compli complicated matters, but anyway, the point is, is that Comcast did, uh, I believe that they submitted their inventory late, uh, and therefore the amount of their listing did not get changed from uh, to, uh, approximately 247,000 to 236,000 is what I copied for you. It does not affect the city revenues whatsoever because the tax bill that goes to Comcast, Comcast is only for the educational portion of the bill, but it still involves correcting the grand, uh, grand list. So uh, I made a copy uh, of what they did submit and uh, the listers are seeking permission for that assessment to be changed to $235,711. So those two uh, corrections uh, are uh, being sought approval of the City Council. The adjustments. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any questions or comments on it? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, we move on. Thank you. <coughs> then we move on to something that may appear to be a little bit more complex. Well, uh, amendment to yeah. the FY uh, 2019 Police Department budget. So uh, one of the things I'm going to suggest is when I put the agenda together, you'll notice that I put one star to the right of that, and I would like to, I don't know that this requires a change in an amending of the agenda, but I really would suggest that you all consider that having two stars and not take action uh, on this item at this meeting. Uh, I would like you to take your time to review the, the memo that came in from George relative to uh, the cruisers. Uh, and I do think that it is best to, uh, to go through a formal amendment uh, process of the police department budget uh, because I, d I don't think that we really should be running these budgets totally on the bottom line. Uh, I think that if we absolutely know this early in the year that we have a purchase that's going to substantially move a line item, I think that the council should go through the exercise uh, and formally amend that budget. You know, obviously uh, there was uh, a lot of discussion about the police department budget uh, back when you were doing it, and uh, I, I think you would all agree that some of that was done a little bit hastily, and, um, uh, and I just think that uh, the city council should slow down just a little bit, and between this document here and the uh, budget report that I've supplied, I will be able to, once I meet uh, again with George about this, I will be able to come back with a very specific proposal uh, relative to uh, how I would suggest that the budget. So I don't have a specific recommendation for you, but I did want to share this information. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, we, so we move on to appointment of development review board member, and I know that we discussed this a while back, but I can't remember a thing about sure. it, so, so I hope Peter, you do. Sure. Peter, <laughs> Peter Guerin obviously has resigned from the Development Review Board, uh, and therefore uh, the, the Development Review Board, I've kind of lost track of the law. It's, it's different than the Planning Commission. Planning Commissions can have between three and nine members and this type of thing. A Planning Commission, or DRB, I think the number is not to be more than seven. It probably could be could be five but anyway Peter has resigned from the DRB and so currently there are six regular members of the DRB uh, Lowell is an alternate member uh, I really feel that 
Uh, it's my interpretation that the D DRB operates with a seven-member board, and when there is a vacancy like there is now, Lowell will be asked to fill that seat until a more permanent replacement is made. So the DRB uh, is, and, and Lowell has had to fill in on more than one occasion here, So, uh, uh, but it, until the city council appoints someone, Lowell would be expected to attend uh, regular meetings. So uh, on Monday, yes, and so a, a pack will go to him. So the, the, so the point is, and again, I, 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 I don't, whether or not there's one star there, unless, uh, I don't know, I really don't know that anybody uh, has done anything formally in regard to this, but I think that there, if a, this is not an elected office, and so it's not like you're filling a, a, a vacancy where you, have, where you have to do this notice of vacancy. This is not an elected office, but you do have a vacancy. So I think that what what the city council should do is, you know, because I know Joan doesn't have a lot to do, uh, you know, at this time of the year, but somebody, somebody's got to take charge and put a notice in front porch form, put something out there to uh, uh, solicit candidates, and the city council should have some structure. Now, typically, I can't speak for Shannon, but typically, you know, Shannon is, is here to assist. Now, in the right now, the DRB, Peter was the chair, all right? And so one of the first things that the DRB is going to need to do uh, at their meeting on Monday is to elect a new chair. So uh, I don't know that anything, you know, you're fine at this point. You, you got six full members. You're around on Monday, all right? So the DRB is full, but that's, that seat does need to be filled at some point. Well, I... I would assume that um, at their next meeting they would elect a chair and then my assumption would be then that the chair should move forward with trying to find a member um, for that to body recommend to, the city to recommend to the city council so um, because the, the planning commission does it that way and, I, and I, I can't remember when there was a vacancy on the well the chair is the vacancy but uh, vacancy on the, the development review board but I think we, we can follow the same process. <clears throat> so there's no action on that particular item. So we go to uh, 5F, which is Appointment of Recreation Facilities Program Advisory Committee Members. Um, I didn't bring my charge with me to see the, the um, listing of who are the members. I know there, there are four um, general community members, a city council member, um, a student, I think, and, school representative. and a school rep, yeah, of some sort. Um, so I have a couple of names that I can uh, put into that, and if the council members have any at this point, we can appoint them now, and when we get up there where we have a full group, then they can start working. Um, so, who? Brooke? Had mentioned an interest in it. So if, if we appoint him, um, you think that that will be okay? I do. Okay. So right now, the ones that I have, and I, this would be for the general public members, I have Aaron Roach, Linda Hawley, and Tim Cook. Correct. Lynn was going to do it for the council. Okay. And Lynn for the council. Do you want me to talk to the superintendent to see who she would want the school to represent? Yeah, them? yeah, because, you know, considering so we have so many facilities right by the elementary school that somebody from the school uh, should be on it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I need a motion to um, appoint. Um, Lynn, Lynn Donnelly, Aaron Roach, Linda Hawley, and Tim Cook to the Recreation Committee. Motion has been made. I second that. Seconded. Any, any more nominations? Any discussion? I mention my wife, so <laughs> just in case there's a conflict. <laughs> um, if not, all those in favor say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carries, thank you. All right, so the next one is 5G, acceptance of resignation of Alderman Matt Chabot. Mr. Mayor and my esteemed peers of the City Council, I hereby officially resign my position as City Alderman. Any comments? <laughs> need to accept that or? Yes, okay. yes, this is, uh, we'll, we'll need a motion to accept. Second. Okay, there's been a motion to accept. You got him, Mark. Okay, and it's been seconded. No, Mark, motion, I second. Oh, okay. Don't do that. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. We, we, uh, yeah, yeah, well, it's just kind of unusual. I was going to say, well, we hate to see you go, but you're not. <laughs> All right, so GH. All right, the next one is report of the city manager search committee. Jeff. Well, I do believe and hope that this will be my final report. And uh, I've made a few notes so I can get the chronology down properly. And um, it's been quite the experience as we've looked for a new city manager. But uh, on the 1st of August, the search committee recommended three candidates to the city council uh, to pursue with a second round of Skype interviews. Uh, the search committee was really looking to the council to decide which of those three candidates should come for a face-to-face -face interview. On the 3rd of August, um, our first recommended candidate withdrew his application. Um, we called a special meeting to interview the remaining two on the 7th of August, and the special meeting was scheduled for the 10th. On uh, the morning, the, pardon me, the afternoon of the 7th, the second candidate withdrew his application. So on the uh, seventh that night, uh, pardon me, the seventh that night at the special meeting, no, I've got this wrong. On the seventh, the second one dropped. Um, on the seventh, we did have a second special meeting and uh, we interviewed the remaining candidate. Actually, from that meeting that night, I sent an email to VLC VLCT requesting that that candidate meet us on the 10th face-to-face, -face. and uh, on the late afternoon of the 8th, our third candidate withdrew, which left us with no candidates. Um, on the morning of the 9th, Matt Chabot submitted his resume for consideration for the position, and then on the 10th at our duly warned special meeting, we used that time to interview Matt and it is the recommendation of the search committee that we proceed to offer the position of city manager to Matt Chabot. Okay. And I, I might add that, that that really is outlining the second um, uh, attempt. Correct. Uh, that the first attempt we went through and the final candidate which we had hoped would would take the job um, withdrew. So we really have gone through this twice. Um, and um, and all four of our finalists withdrew. Mm -hmm. We should be clear about that. So we'll proceed on. That's the report. Thank you, committee, for all the work. This has been a lot of work, particularly for you, Jeff. I know that you've been doing a lot of organizational work to keep the committee going and and making sure that we uh, stayed on track and trying to find someone. I appreciate that. You probably won't accept any kind of committee assignment I give you again, uh, but uh, <laughs> at any rate. Um, so we move on to item, um, let's see, oh, yeah, item I, 5I, appointment of city manager. And so I would need a, um, a motion to appoint Matt Chabot as city manager. 
uh, effective August 31st at 4.30 p.m. Subject to background check, which is being conducted by VLCT, uh, and finalization of the employment agreement, which is also on the agenda for this evening. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, <laughs> any she never responded to my text, so. Any opposed? Nope. You are on board with a few details that we still have to work out. Um, I would say that um, um, <laughs> we, are, we, are, we, are, we are pleased to have Matt come on board. Um, he's a um, Vermonter. Bradford, did you say? East Hardwood. Each hard, East Hardwood. Is where is so big. They yeah. actually they had to divide it up. And, uh, yeah, 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 split yeah. it up. In so it. he's a Vermonter. You've been in Virgin's how 16 many? 16 years. 16 years. So he's certainly familiar with the, uh, the uh, community. And uh, if you look at his resume, you'll find that he has extensive management experience, uh, which we thought will be able to carry us through, and this, which can be a pretty rough job at times. Um, and so we're, we're really pleased to, to have you on board. Thank you, Randy. And um, <clears throat> so I move to um, item whatever, approval of the city manager J. in K, um, no, J. J, approval of city manager employment agreement. Uh, we do have uh, sufficient time to go into a brief executive session if we would like to uh, discuss that agreement. I have sent it to all of you. Um, with there, is a, there is a part of the agreement that we have to decide, though, um, and we, we, we can either, I have two versions of the, of the potential contract, and um, we can either say, yes, we'll add, make that addition in public, or we can go into executive session to discuss it. It, it is, it is uh, legitimate for us to go into executive session for that discussion. What's your pleasure? I don't think it's necessary. Okay. So that would mean that the item related to a $1,500 um, uh, signing bonus is added uh, to the agreement, this agreement, once approved, is a public document, so everybody's gonna know everything that's in it. Um, and I will just tell you what the, what the wording is in that section six of the agreement, which is salary. There's a line added after, let's see, it's the, it's the second line. After the, sec uh, after the first line, it's the second line, reading also in the first pay period of the first year of this agreement, the employee will be paid a one-time signing bonus of $1,500, which shall not become part of the base salary. That is the addition. Other than that, the agreement is as was I sent to you earlier. Okay. So, now... We need a, do I have a, did I take a motion on approval? Right. Approval of the city manager? Yeah. No. 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 Okay, so I need a motion for approval of the city manager empro employment agreement. So moved. It's, okay. it's been moved and seconded. Um, any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. We now have a new city manager as of August 31st at 4.30 p.m. <laughs> the um, item K, com compensation of city clerk treasurer. Um, I'm going to defer that one more meeting um, because I have not had a chance to talk with Joan about that whole issue, so um, we'll wait. On that? I know it's a little late to try to do we have to now make a formal 
state of the or anybody who'd like to apply for an empty oh, council seat? I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, yes. Um, since yeah. it's required to, uh, yes. you, you, you know, the law that obviously within 10 days or whatever, Joan is required to uh, post that, so she'll post that notice, and obviously you need to decide on a uh, process. Forthwith. Yes, yes. forthwith. Yep. Yes. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll post for the vacancy and those... Um, um, applications for the position they come to the mayor don't they they come to you but yeah and a month I, if we have sufficient time between now and the, the posting and the meeting if we can do it on the next meeting I think we should do it on the next meeting uh, if there's sufficient time if not it'll obviously have to be the, the following meeting <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. All right, I guess we move to um, <clears throat> item six, city manager's report. So uh, uh, let me just let me just tell you that working one day a week doesn't work very well. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, I did want to. Uh, sorry, sorry. Normally, I would have gotten the budget report, got this out to you in advance, uh, and. Uh, I just couldn't. So anyway, this budget report does reflect the bills that were in the in the warrant for for this evening. Obviously, we're still way early uh, in the uh, in the year. Uh, so let me just t uh, mention that obviously the next meeting will indeed be my official last meeting on August 28th, um, uh, and. Uh, at that time, I will have a budget report. I will have a um, uh, capital budgets, and and the pool will the pool season will be done by then. All right, and so you'll actually have uh, final numbers on the pool, except for obviously there's still our electric bills and the like that come in, but you'll have a really good handle on uh, on the pool at that time. So that's really the only uh, items that I uh, wanted to report and. I haven't voted yet, so I actually want to make sure that I have time to vote. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and no other items, eh? Yeah, and I know, Rennie, you didn't, I, I mean, what, we talked about amending the agenda for the Planning Commission's uh, oh, action that, yes. on that. And uh, what I want to do, uh, obviously, the, the Planning Commission did uh, approve a proposed amendment to the land use map. I want to just double check the statute on the time frame uh, and the required. I really think that you only have one uh, public hearing. So Shannon, I haven't been in touch with Shannon, so we'll just put that on the next meeting and then make sure that your public hearing more than likely would be held on the 25th of September. Uh, so just to let you know that that, that business is coming. Mayor's report. <clears throat> I have a brief one. Uh, the only thing I'm uh, going to talk about is just ad advance notice that um, the uh, second annual Eat on the Green Festival will be uh, occurring on Sunday, September 16th. We expect uh, it to be larger than last year. It was larger than we expected last year for its first time, and we expect it to be larger this year not only because of the participation for Eat on the Green, but the um, Tour de Farm, which is a bicycle event, which uh, uh, involves a couple of hundred, I believe, bicyclists. Uh, they will be ending the event, starting and ending the event in Virgins on that day. So not only will we have whoever is participating, but we will have all of those bicyclists and family-related members who will be in Virgins for Eat on the Green. So I just want to let you know that that is occurring. And for that event, uh, two streets will be closed, um, uh, Park Street and North Green Street. And um, North Green Street is the first time, well, last year was the first time of having the event. Only Park Street was closed. The reason for North Green Street, because last year in observing the number of people crossing the street, getting to the, the food booths and so on, it was really hazardous. And when, when we're expecting even more people 
that, that we'll, we'll need to do that. So we'll be closing both of those streets. So you'll be hearing more on Eat on the Green. Um, the uh, Virgin's partnership is doing most of the uh, coordination on, on that, but it really, the proceeds um, um, go to four nonprofits in the city. Um, this is a, a joint thing. All of, the, all of the nonprofits are providing volunteers to help do it. And the actual event is really predominantly planned by our restaurants. They work together to come up with various menus and what uh, is going to be served and how they're going to do it and so on. So it's, it's really a business done event, uh, which is a good way to do it. So that ends my report. For Jen's Day, yes. It's the 25th. For Jen's Day is the 25th. Yes, there is the night before uh, annual music, dance, street dance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that being said, I'll make the motion to adjourn. Motion has been made. Second. And <laughs> seconded. To adjourn, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Okay, so you need to come back. Either hang around or come back. At